do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rage in close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end, no dark is right. Because their words had fought no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Do not go gentle into that good night. Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you're doing well, and today we're going to be taking on our final cave. We're going to tackle the artifact of the strong. Now, we've bred a couple of Allosauruses up for the task, and uh, they got a couple of mutations on them. I think it was three health mutations and one melee mutation in the end, uh, but we kept them because I thought they were cool colours. Uh, before we get to them, I just want to show you how we're getting on with the Rex army. We have 21 Super Rexes ready to go at the moment. I think I've crafted 14 of the Ascendant Saddles, uh, but I've run out of both Hide and Metal now, so that is that is a real grind, getting these saddles together. Uh, but we're getting there, we're getting there, so uh, we'll just carry on. And uh, I've got a little bit of a break in this episode because we're going to do a cave run. And um, I'll just set these Lustros off. And I know that we could cryo-freeze them and put them in pods, they'll still get uh, XP, uh, somebody mentioned in the comments, but I'm just going to have them out on the beach. And also we've got this Uteranus, um, I almost got a full imprint on it, but only 96, and it was just the better one of the two, so I'm not going for any mutations on this because I don't plan to be fighting with it, but... Um, well, we've got an imprint on it anyway. And over to Bumblebee and Wasp. I can say these guys have been sat here just gathering some XP for a while now. Uh, we do have the Ascendant Saddle for Bumblebee. So that's going to be a massive help in the cave. And um, Wasp here, he's just got the normal saddle. But having the both of them, obviously we get the pack bonus. So... And now that we can uh, cryo-freeze them, we don't need to breed inside the cave, so we've got a different approach to it. So you could pretty much take any dinosaur you wanted, really, into this cave now, but we're going to do it on the Allosauruses. And like I say, I think uh, this Ascendant Saddle is going to help us quite a lot. And let's just get the other one frozen. Just got to get them at their feet. Sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, yep. Yeah. So I've got everything we need together. And in the last episode, actually, I managed to get um, some Ascendant fur gloves. So I've crafted them up. Um, I thought I actually got two um, of the fur blueprints, but I could only find one of them. So uh, we've got a few sets of armor. And, uh, yep, so we're just going to head on straight over to the cave. Um, I've bought plenty of food, and there's the Ascendant Gloves. I know I've got another set over there, and there should be some grenades and more ammo over there and a load of stuff that we need that I set up from uh, last time. So, let's just uh, hope that this cave is working because previously I've been in there and it's been empty, but I've tried reloading another cave and uh, we've waited a good four hours of game time, so we'll see when we get there. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay, here it is. And yeah, the entrance is quite easy to find. There's just this little ice sheet sticking out here. So you've probably seen it quite a few times. Um, and it's kind of a good area actually just to outside just to put your bird or another mount I find and oh there we go caves just loaded in now let's hope it's not bugged out like I say um, I've gone into this cave 
twice now to find that nothing loaded in. I've went in a third time to find it did, but let's find out if it has. I find generally if something's not working, come out, go into another cave, and then come back onto this, this into the cave, and it should have worked. So let's see. Right, I can't see anything. This is not looking good. Oh, hey, there's some, uh, there we go. We've got some polar bears and some uh, Bigfoot or Yetis, are they? So, yep, it's worked. Right, and there's nothing near the entrance. Usually there's quite a, a few wolves, but I wonder if that's because I've built something. Maybe I've affected the spawns here. So, I might actually risk um, putting our Allosauruses down just in this entrance here, in fact. Because I don't think anything's going to aggro on us. So, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so, yeah, let's just throw them down here. I don't want to throw them too far, just in case he gets aggroed. Um, just throw, try throwing it next to this wall. Um, nope, oh dear. Uh, right, we'll have to go this side. Hopefully this works. And, oh, okay, so Bumblebee's gone into cryo sickness. Um, so we're going to have to wait this one out, wait until he wakes up and just guard him. Um, torpidity wise, it's going to take some time for this to come down. I should have bought some st um, stim stimulants or something just in case this happened. Um, okay, well we'll just wait for Bumblebee. And uh, there's not much else we can do. Finally. Okay. Right. Bumblebee's awake. Um, I'll just check if he's still got cryo sickness or not. No, there's no debuffs here, so I think we're good. Let's go and have a look at what we're dealing with. And we'll take one of our fire recurries as well. Because in certain parts of this cave it does go below freezing. Doesn't matter what armor you have got on. Okay, Wasp, let's go and check it out. And straight away, ooh, we've got some Palovia here. Looks like quite a few of them in the entrance. Usually I find there's more wolves in the entrance than Palovia and bears. You can see some wolves at the back there. So we just want to go slowly. Um, I'm just going to jump off of bumblebee just for two seconds just to aggro this Palovia because if we walk over there we might trigger this other one and then get dismounted there you go so all right okay so they don't tend to aggro on the allosauruses and there we go we just set the other one off um, clearing them guys out are key to getting through this cave we need to clear this entrance entirely and then we've got our little base here but Palovia are the worst part of this cave, for sure. And Strangely, they don't seem to be aggroing us. Or oh, they're getting stuck. I think they're getting stuck. They don't aggro until we attack, so that's a bit different. So they're still using the old skin for the polar bear. So yeah, look, these wolves are not uh, are not attacking until until we start attacking. Okay. Oh, we didn't really want to go in the water. Because now wasps followed us in there and just take damage in this water. Oh, looks like we've got everything on us now. Try and help wasp up. Level 270 polar bear. Okay, so this is Parlovia here. It looks like there's another one behind it. This is what we gotta watch out for. Ooh, that one bounced near us. Ooh, I think we got very lucky there. And there's another one. Wow, there's so many in this first bit of the cave. 
It is random as to what spawns in here, but I usually find it's usually wolves in the first bit. I've not had it like this before. I'm just pleased it's working. I need to get turned around. And I think Wasp's taking a bit of damage there. Okay. There you go, they're on me now. Get these two out. Okay. I think we are clear. So, yeah, that Ascendant Saddle was making a massive difference for Bumblebee here. Um, but I can see Wasp looks a little bit bloody. Let's go and... Let's go and see how... How much he took there. Uh, ooh, okay, yeah. About 12,000 damage he took just in that first bit. Okay, so Wasp took quite a beat in there. And uh, I've underestimated how many grenades we had here and ammunition. Uh, I thought we had more. And I've also totally forgotten to bring the otter. So I'm running low on my fire curries. And I probably could have done with bringing some more stuff in with me. Uh, but let's just go and poke our heads down here a little bit and see what we can see. So some yetis over here. And some wolves and bears down here. Let's just see if we can thin out some of them before we bring the dinosaurs in. Okay. Um, see, in certain parts of this cave, it's very cold. Um, okay. Let's uh, have one of them fire curries. It's my last one. I'm just sort of debating whether to go back and go and grab the otter. Let's see how we do, let's see how we do. Let's... Right, come on wasp. Let's get to it. We'll take these yetis on first. Just a little bit at a time. Just aggro these two. Yeah, the pushback on the Allosaurus here, these guys are not even getting a hit in. Otherwise Wasp would have joined in as well, so they've not even got a hit. They've got quite a bit of power. Alright, if we just jump off, that should get the wolves on us. Let them all come to us. And I can see there's a couple of Palovia holes across the water there, so we're going to have to take them out. If we do die in here, we're going to have to retrace our steps, and we're not going to have a dino, so we need to get rid of everything. And the problem is, you can't trigger those pens. Um, let's just get rid of the polar bears first. I should get them over here. Don't want to rush it. Don't know if this will aggro the other polar bears across there, or we might just be out of aggro range. Yeah, it looks like we are. So really, I want to trigger these Parlovia. So let's have a go at throwing some grenades over there. Mm, a bit too far, I think. That one should have it. Nope, totally missed. I thought I bought more grenades with me. I know I'd done a load more up. And it's definitely aggroed something. Yeah, let's release the one at the back. They are a problem. I hate the Palovia. Yeah, I probably can just walk over the top of the pen on an Allosaurus. You never know, they may trigger, they may not. Um, but on foot, they definitely will trigger, so we need to get rid of it. Because if we lose our dinosaurs or we die, we're going to have to go back that path. So yeah, that got it this time. 
Just want to go easy on these grenades if we can. Level 220. Okay. Let's head down this way and uh, clear these out as well, just in case they become a problem. So look, we've got a Palovia there and a pen next to it. If we damage this one, it should get the other one to come out. It did, and it could have. It could have hit us as well, so that was probably a bit dangerous. And it's triggered one across the water there as well. But I'd rather get rid of them. Okay. Now, over here, if we get rid of this crystal at the back, we should be able to get some shots in on the next level down. We might be able to thin some of the stuff out. some of this crystal and while we're here we'll just put some levels there we go wasp not doing too bad damage wise okay let's got rid of the crystal and let's just get some shots in from up here everything down into this bottom corner of this next level. Let's see if we can get them parlovia out down there maybe. That was a bit of a miss. Nope. A bit higher. I think that's gonna do it. Yeah. Should. Let's got one of them out. As long as they're out. Now if we kill that one there, it could have broken the other one free. And there's some more polar bears we can drag down into the water. Let's say we just want to take this cave slowly. Don't underestimate it. Just that. It is. It's taking quite a few hits. Okay, 175. And I think we can probably fire at that polar bear as well at the back. through this gap or not. Don't want to fall down there, that would be a bad move. Okay, um, oh, we can get some over here. It's better to be safe, I think. It wouldn't take many of these guys to get on top of um, Wasp. I'm sure Bumblebee can take quite a bit of damage with that saddle, but yeah, I think that's about as good as I can do. Okay, let's continue down there. Let's see what we see. We'll just go around to our, our right here. That's why I had to throw the grenades here, get rid of them parlovia, because if we die in here, we're going to have to run back this way. And, uh, yeah. We don't want to leave any of them. Just check wasps on our tail. It can be a little bit difficult to guide these guys through the snow cave. Right. Okay. I can see some polar bears just here. I 
think everything else has just gone into that bottom right corner. Let's just get rid of these guys. Okay, another one bites the dust. Just checking nothing else is on our tail. Doesn't look like it. Okay, and a 230. I do like this shotgun. can't jump so we're just going to have to mm, you can see the pile over here there they're dead ok I'll just get in here and dismount for a second because I know there was a den a pile over here den just around the corner and then we'll get back on there we go they were quick damage. Okay. So here we go. It's this one that's going to be awkward. Um, I don't know if it's best to throw a grenade from there. See that we can walk right near it and it's not going to set it off. But if we have to run this way we need to come past it so we're going to have to deal with it. some more over here. Right. Well, perhaps if we aggro the ones in front, that might get that one out. No. Okay. Right. The wolves are definitely coming now. Which is the one wolf. Yeah, and it looks like three Palovia are over the back there. one behind us jump out. Let's bring it a bit closer. Ah, there you go. And that set it off. Okay. Right. So that's cleared the way. If we do lose our mounts, we can run back. Continue up and round. I certainly think this is the most difficult cave to do solo. And, uh, well, hey, I didn't see this one. Kind of lucky that triggered. Um, I don't know where he was hiding. Okay, um, we continue. I'm just going to keep pumping melee damage. Okay, Bumblebee. Lead on. So just around the corner here, I think there's some crystal we need to knock down. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we shot all the polar bears down from the top, so... Fire curry's running low. And even using it, I'm still getting the ice symbol, so even with all of our armor, and I've got I think 20 points in fortitude as well. So my character's no stranger to the elements, but this cave Well it continues to drain you in certain places. Alright, oh, okay. Uh let's back 
up. Wasp has got stuck. I need to I need to three up Wasp. This looks like an awkward. Hmm. Um I'm trying to dismount, but I can't dismount. And I don't want to go in too far. Looks like the bear's already on us. Oh no, um, right, okay. Wasp is directly behind us now. I don't think we've got any choice but to head in here. Um, I don't like this. Um, I don't want to get down either because that's just going to spring them. Um, it's a shame I can't put Wasp in the front. Okay, right. Um, they're all on us. Oh, no. Okay, bad. This is bad. Um, oh no. Okay, well right, the dinos should be alright, but um, uh, we're going to have to run. We're going to have to run to get back there. Um, damn. I couldn't do much else there. Um, wasp came right up the back. So this is why you need to clear that way. So hopefully we haven't missed anything on the way around. Okay, we managed to get back here. Ooh. Okay. Right, that could have been bad. As you can see the amount of damage I've just taken just running here. Right. We're running low on grenades and food. And I should have bought some healing brews with us. Oh no, I'm stuck again. I need to cut some of this crystal down. Um, can I jump down now? Okay, good. Okay. I'll just get rid of this crystal here as well. Star Ascendant Gloves lasted. Okay. Carry on. Um. Alright, let's get this pile of bear out of the way. Can't see any Pelovia. So there's one down there in the middle in that crystal. You can see some dens. Okay, wasps in here. I'm not liking this because I'm on half health and I'm low on grenades. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should. Oh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, um, Pallovia. Uh, oh, oh, no, the walls are on us now. That's it. Um, right. We're going to have to run back, and we're going to have to run back with no armor now. Oh dear, this is going bad, guys. And we got one more sleeping bag. Um, right. Hopefully we can make it. Okay, just about made it. Um, right, I think we're going to head out of the cave, we're going to head back to the start and I'm going to come back and I'm going to get some healing brews and some more kit. I'm going to have to repair my damaged gear and I'm going to come back with the otter. Okay, so I've gone back to base, I've got some healing brews, some more grenades and uh, I've repaired some of our stuff. So we'll try again. Um, hopefully none of the stuff has spawned back yet. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I've got some great grenades, some more fire curries. Let's just get our kit on. I've got a spare set of fur armor as well. Okay, we'll just leave that here. And let's uh, see if anything spawned back. Come on, wasp. 
We should have been bringing more gear in with us. We should have bought some more grenades and I should have brought some healing brews. Um, but uh, I've got the otter now, so I don't want to have to come back to this cave anymore. We're going to camp it out and uh, we'll grab a few artifacts. It's just proving to be more difficult than I thought. Well, no, actually saying that, I always said this was going to be really hard. I was worried about this cave. Um, but we are making a little bit of progress. I'm pleased we retreated and uh, regrouped. So far, I mean, we might have to fight stuff on the way back out, but I think getting out's a little bit easier than getting there. It's respawned, so we're good. Well, as quick as I could be. The spawns in the cave are a bit strange. Okay. Just through here. The wasp is keeping up this time. It generally gets caught on that crystal there. Nope. Managed to get through, did you? No. No, you didn't. Taking a little bit of damage. Halfway down. I mean, we need to bring the wasp because we need the uh, pack bonus as well. Even if she's just sat at the back. Okay. Alright, this is where we was. lost any progress. Right, let's just come down here. Get that pile over out of the way. Pull over here. Okay. It's about the only use I've ever had for the grenades, to be honest. Um, it's the most effective way, I think, to wake them up. Dino, I suppose, but um, so I've never really used them. But they are a difficult obstacle in this cave. They make things totally. Um, they certainly make things a lot harder, and there's quite a lot of them in this cave. All right, let's see if we can bring these guys down. Save some falling on top of us. Because when we take that bottom route, these dinos can fall up. That's why it's best to just come up here first. Otherwise they end up just falling on your head. And I think we can probably just jump down here. Yeah, we'll just jump down to the side here. The knockback's great on the Allosauruses. Except when they get in front of you. That wasp is. Okay. Carry on. Getting closer to the artifact now, and I know that we're going to have to leave the dinos. Trigger that one at the back. I'm just going to stand back. That's done. Okay, just a little bit further. Okay, we need to clear this out, and this is where we're going to have to leave the dinos. I want to be careful because I don't want a wasp dropping in this water. Because if she does, I'm not going to be able to get her out. see that one. Just missed it. It could have been bad again. Need to be careful. Okay. Good. Alright. 
Wasp, you just stay there. Um, melee again, we keep pumping. Okay. Alright, let's get these guys down here. Let them come to us. Don't want to go in that water. See, oh, no wasp, don't. Ah, oh, come back here. It's strange that they, they're able to get out of the water, but I've lost dinos in this water before, so. Just don't, ah, oh, think. Wasps just basically stepped into the water. No, no, come back, come back, come back. Ah. Oh. Right. I was worried about that. I should have I should have put Wasp on passive at the back. That's my bad. Um I mean I'll try, but I don't yeah. Thinks Sabertooth Salmon are attacking him now. He's got all the fish on him. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to leave Wasp. I can't rescue her. And we're going to have to carry on foot the rest of the way. Um, I'm just going to leave Bumblebee at the bottom. There's nothing I can do. Um, let's just go slowly. Oh, pile over you. Right. A wasp's gone right under the ice now, so there's nothing I can do. Um, okay. Whew. A little bit of a time, keep on re reloading. Got a yeti up in that corner. He's stuck, I think. Okay. It's another easy one. Oh, he might break free though. Yeah, no, he's, he was stuck in the ice. Um, looks like a Palovia at the back. Let's take the Yeti first. Okay, it's not even aggroing. I'm not going to argue, but... Okay. Right, we need to get this one out. Grenades. Let's just make sure we're loaded first. That's a hit. Oh, quick. Shotgun, shotgun. Ooh. Ooh. 250. In Christmas colours. Okay. Just slowly does it, slowly does it. The artifact's just around the corner in this room. Okay. Oh, we've got some wolves. Oh, palava. Panicked a bit there, I missed a couple of my shots. Let's keep reloading. Okay. No need to rush it. Some of them might have fallen in the water just at the back there. Can't see anything. Ah, uh, we got a Yeti. And it looks like another Palovia behind it. Um, try not to shoot the Palovia. Just the Yeti first. Ah, uh, looks like I got the both of them. Ooh, oh, and the Yeti's stuck. And so is the Palovia. Right, we'll take advantage of that. Let's get some headshots in. Reload. Don't know where that. Is it just running the water? I think it might have just gone down that step. I'm gonna die here. Okay, so there's some polar bears. 
Yeah, it's down there. It's probably stuck, but they can jump. Um, oh, oh, oh. We've got trapped from one somewhere, but I can't see it. Where it was set up from. Oh, I see a shot there. Um, it must have fallen in the water. It's just where these combat pants. Fortunately, it's not freezing cold in here. And I can't start another one until that's run down. That looks it. Okay. Just, I don't want to continue up there until I'm certain there's no more hiding in any of them rocks. Let's just try one a bit further up. I think we're good. I think we're good. It's just the ones in the water. Okay, let's just continue up cautiously. And here we are, the artifact of the strong. That's the last artifact we need. Excellent. And hey, we've got the achievement as well. We've unlocked the ponytail and the mutton chops. Do some mutton chops on the hair. There it is, down there. Another one behind it? Yeah, they all fell down the water. Best to try and take them out because they can jump. Okay, so I've camped it out. I think we've been in here for about three quarters of an hour. The artifacts sort of spawned back every sort of 10-15 minutes. I kept running out of the room, but uh, we've lost Wasp, uh, unfortunately. I should have put him on passive at the top here and not led him in to this little last bit. It was my own fault. Um, but I've managed to grab four of the artifacts, so we shouldn't have to come back in here. Um, it's the artifact of the strong that we need to do the dragon with, and uh, I really don't want to have to fight the dragon any more than we need to, so um, these three artifacts should be more than enough, unless we fail. <laughs> which we could do on the dragon because the dragon does a, a damage amount of your health, a percentage of your health. Um, so it doesn't matter how high your damage is, you really need to breed up some dinosaurs that have got a lot of melee. And uh, I don't know if our Rexes will be strong enough, so we might have to we might have to stack a few more melee mut mutations on them. Like I say, that being said, we are on the single player settings and our Rexes are becoming more powerful, so we'll see. Okay, so nothing else bad has spawned back in. So, oh, any hey, loot crate has spawned back in. I was going to say, I haven't seen any loot crates at all. Um, I know you usually get one in the first room, but I thought that was just because I'd built there, it probably stopped it spawning. Uh, let's grab one. Oh, excellent. Okay, so we've got an Ascendant Long Neck. I absolutely wanted one of them. It's a good blueprint. Uh, how much was the damage? Uh, 470 on the weapons damage. And uh, it's got a reasonable durability there as well. That's great. Actually, did need one of them. Um, because I've got the journeyman. I've got a ramshackle one and the journeyman that we was using, but uh, ascendant. Fantastic. And I think he, the ascendant saddle made all the difference uh, to Bumblebee here. Certainly he was able to take a tank a lot more. But um, that's all ten of the caves done now, so we have all the artifacts we're going to need. Um, I can't remember, actually I might have been short of a couple in one of the easier caves. Um, so, but I've got pretty much all the artifacts we're going to need now. And, um, yeah. Now, just the nick of time. But now that we can use the cryopods, um, there's a combination of dinosaurs we could really go for in here, it really. Um, it doesn't have to be Allosauruses. I reckon Dire Bears might be a good choice as well, actually, in this cave. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, 
I don't want to drop any of the leather. We still need all the leather we can get. The rest of the stuff can go though. Just pack Bumblebee away. But uh, it's a shame. We've lost Wasp, but we could braid another Allosaurus. But if I had the Ascendant Blueprint and I could make another saddle, I'd certainly consider taking a pair, just at least one pair into the Overseer. I was thinking about taking Bumblebee in, but without the pack bonus. Mm. Just as the one extra. But yeah, we'll head back to base. Just here, I've just had to destroy my unit to fit it in here, but this is it, the last of the artifacts. Ten caves down. It's been quite a long play to get to this point. And just grab one of you. Yeah, we've got everything we need now. Okay, yeah, and let's just shove that in the trophy. Okay, so there we are, the artifact of the strong. So now that's all ten artifacts we're going to need to fight all of the bosses with. We are getting there. I've got most of the trophies as well that we're going to need. There's just a few. I think I've got, uh, I need three more Phyla Collio teeth, uh, a couple a couple more minor ones, but we've got all of the alphas, um, apart from a giga brain, we're definitely going to need to hunt down a giga, um, but I think that one's for the overseer, but other than that, I think we've got most of the trophies we need, um, our rexes are sort of halfway there, most of them have got around about 40,000 health on them, but uh, I could still do with putting some more M XP into them, so the way I've been doing that is basically just releasing the babies and you kill the babies and uh, that generates quite a lot of XP for the Rexes, so I will buff them up a little bit more and um, yeah, I think next episode we're going to have to think about setting up for a fight. There's still some more things we need to do and I'm going to have to set up, I think, at the uh, Green Obelisk and we can start taking the Rexes down there and getting ready, but we're almost there. We will be taking on the bosses of the game very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more Complete the Arc. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and we'll see you.